So before we get today's video started, I want to give you guys a fair warning that if you have not completed the game or if you have not completed the story and you do not want any spoilers, I suggest that you guys do not watch this video. Now, of course, if you guys do not mind spoilers, then go ahead and continue on and I hope you guys enjoy the Easter egg. Now, with that being said, in Red Dead Redemption 1, you guys run into a individual that is located in Armadillo that goes by the name of Herbert Moon. Now, if you're like myself and you're not very good with names, he's actually the one that runs the general store in Armadillo. Well, if we remember back to Red Dead Redemption 1, you guys have a little bit of a dialogue with him, and in that he basically admits to the fact that he's a racist, a sexist, and he just plain out hates everybody that looks any different than him or anybody that thinks different than him. Well, in Red Dead Redemption 2, if we head on over to Armadillo, we can actually see that the entire town has been taken over by the cholera infection. If you travel around the town and explore every single inch of it, you'll notice that every single person there is infected. Either they're already dead or they're currently in the process of dying. Now, of course, the moment I saw this, I wanted to investigate a little more to see what probably caused this, if I could get some info from the people that are, you know, just kind of walking around. So the first place that I thought about going was the saloon. Now, almost instantly, as soon as I walked in and I talked to the bartender and got a beer, I had one NPC come up to me and tell me the following that I'm gonna show you guys in the background. Beer and whiskey's about the only thing left that's safe to drink in this town. I should warn you, I'm sick, but so is pretty much everyone else around here. Apart from that son of a bitch who runs the general store. That might be the cruelest irony of them all. Cholera's a horrible business, mister. I wouldn't stay around here any longer than you need to. Especially if you got loved ones expecting you home. Anyway... Sorry to be a misery, friend. A few more drinks and I'll have a smile on my face again. Now, I thought this was really interesting, so I went ahead and head to the general store. And of course, the good old Herbert Moon was there. And sure enough, it turns out that he's the only healthy person that is within Armadillo. Now, at this point, I thought this was going to be some type of hidden operation within the general store here in Armadillo. So I went ahead and I tried to rob the place and see if I could ask him more about the actual cholera. But unfortunately, no type of option came up. So I decided to go ahead and continue asking people around town. And I unfortunately didn't get much information. Now, of course, I ended up back at the saloon and I did end up hearing again, not only from the bartender, but from another NPC, them talking about the general store guy. Surprise, you ain't blown on through. Ain't much reason to stay. I don't know. For the sickness to have spread as fast as it did here, and with such mortality, I can't but think there must be more to it. And the thing is, as we've all been taken down one by one, that shopkeeper, Herbert Moon, ain't had so much as a cough. Now how does that happen? And the way he looks at us, <clears throat> all superior. Something ain't right about all this. You hear about the moon? That bastard just strolling around town looking fresher than a daisy. Something ain't right with that one. That can't be true. And this is currently where I'm stuck and I'm a little confused. Now, I'm not 100% sure if there is a next step to this or if maybe this is just another cameo for Herbert. But personally, I feel like there is a way to get him and ask him a little more information. I just am not 100% sure how to do it. Now, I've tried to grab bodies from outside and bring them inside and try to talk to him about it. I've actually gone ahead and killed him and he does drop a letter. The letter, unfortunately, is only from his daughter that is talking about the fact that she's pregnant and that she feels he should set aside his differences with her husband because he is Jewish and as you know Herbert does not like anyone that is any different than himself. I don't know why I just feel like there should be some way to have Herbert die or at least suffer a little bit for his consequences not just kind of let us see the entire town of Armadillo go through the cholera. But if anybody's gonna help me out with this mystery it's going to be you guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content. I'm really curious to see if this is just gonna end up being some type of little easter egg or if it's actually gonna be a full-fledged hidden operation but like i said before if you guys have any type of information make sure to let us know in the comments and of course the moment that i do figure out how to do this i will be bringing you guys a video but anyways like always i will see you guys in the next video